Hey guys, Kills of Frills here, and we are back with some more Sons of the Forest. So I've been playing around with the stone building and just messing around with it in general, really. And I've come across something. Something that uh, could be a little bit game-breaking, but it's still pretty damn good. I'm down at the beach. I'll show you on the map where I am. Over here on the map. Just so you know where it is. Now, this part has always been like this. Uh, cannibals can't come onto this area. They don't like it. They hate it. For some reason. Uh, mutants won't come across here. Slinkies won't come across here or anything like that. So, whilst I was playing around, I've discovered this. I'll show you. It's a, uh, it's a floating base. You might have already know this, but I thought I'd get it out there anyway. And it involves stone. So, what you do is you just put some logs into the ground. You chop them down into quarters. A bit like this. We'll get rid of these bits. There we go. We've got rid of those bits. We've got some stone as well. So as you probably may or may not be aware, if you put stone on there, it comes up as a full column. And if you take it off, it basically gives you the same amount of stone back. So you'll get four stone out of that. So if you do that, and then you can use wood or stone for this part. Make a, a little frame. I'm going to use stone because I like the way it looks. Just fill these in. There we go, like that. Now that's in, what you can actually do is you can take these parts down. We're going to lob them away so at least we've got some more stone. We can take these parts down. Like that. You notice something that didn't happen? But the top didn't fall down. So that is a floating base now. Nothing can uh, nothing can get up there. Thing is, you can't attach anything to it. So what you've got to do is you've got to figure out your own way of getting up there. So what I'll normally do is I'll just do this for now. Uh, and then just jump across. So I've got like a power jump on at the moment just so I can get up here and show you. And then you can just do that. Just lay some flooring down. And the cannibals won't attack it. It's, uh, it's, it's a great design. You can... Expand, expand that for as far as you want or as big as you want and you can just keep building up if you want what the hell is that no idea it's my creative world so it looks a bit weird got stuff like everywhere so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build this into a quick 2x2 two two, and we'll, uh, we'll, uh, we'll we can experiment with it a little bit there we go just expanded that a little bit it's the same way you can just uh, put it in as if you would any normal building. Just keep doing it. Get it up. Now, I haven't figured out a way. Now, I have tried. I have tried all different possibilities to try and get rid of these bottom uh, quarter logs. But I, I can't figure out how to remove them. Uh, I've tried chopping them down. If you chop them down, your base will fall down. So it's best to build this in a place where the cannibals won't attack. And as far as I know, once I spawn some in, they do not attack this area. This area is generally completely safe. And now we should be able to just remove these as normal. Yeah, you can. I don't know if you want to get some kind of sections in there just before you remove them, just so you can build your floor. Otherwise, once you remove these, you cannot put them back in. The game sees it as it's still there. You cannot put anything back in. So make sure you build your base area first of how you want it. Then remove the bottom. Because you can't, like I say, you can't put anything back in. Which is kind of understandable. Okay, so one thing. Here we go. Look, look at these. There we go. It's a perfect example there. Look, Puffy's trying to get to me. All right, Puffy, how's it going? Woo, whoa, coming in. See, nothing won't come in. Now, I don't know why, but they just... They just don't like it. They won't come in. This is seen as being in the ocean, so they they uh, they won't come across here at all. Oh, my God, we've got demons and all. Look at that. Even the demons won't come in. Anybody, anybody else? We should just get some cannibals into this party. And uh, let's get it started, shall we? 
Right, before I was in interrupted by the horde of everything that's attacking me. So, what I also found out is this. So, if you put that on there like that, it actually thinks it's a log. And you can cut it down. You can't cut it down everywhere. You can only cut it down there. So, if I cut that, you get a stone. But it crushes it down to this. I don't understand... What you could do with that. Oh, hold on a minute. Last time it wouldn't even let me put this on there. Yeah. Okay, so you can place that on there. Not entirely sure what you could do with that, but... I'm sure you could do something with it. And even if you stick one there, then cut it down. Cuts it down to the same height. You can still place stuff across it, but... I'm not entirely sure... What you can achieve from doing that it's just really weird anyway back to this I'm going to get a floor down up there and I'm going to get like a frame on it and then uh, we can sort like an entrance system out you can even do a zip line straight up if you want there you go as you can see they're still not coming across they still don't like it sometimes they'll jump across and they might get a hit in but it's unlikely if, if they enter the water they'll run straight back out again it's the puffies normally that you... Jesus Christ, you made it up. <laughs> Woo! That's a bit freaky, isn't it? Yeah, it's the puffies you've got to look out for. They're a bit of a... Bit of a... Bit of a nightmare. Get down. Now, you can also put... Another level on top. On top of the level of stones that you've already got. And then you can take those columns out as well. So you've got another floating level on top of your floating level. I haven't taken the bottom out of this yet because I'm still building it. So I'll take that out in a second. There you go. Just let me show you what I've done here. Boom. There we go. Floating level coming off of this level. We've got to get some stairs into that. There we go. Just lay that with stairs. Boom. We've even got an upstairs now, coming off of our floating level. On top of another floating level, you can basically just keep going up and up and up with this. There is no height limit. And as far as I'm aware, there's no height limit to the game. Uh, I have built a pretty... I think I'm sitting at about floor 7 or 800 now. A uh, high tower. So, uh, yeah, there, there's no height limit to this game as far as I'm aware. But you can just keep going up with it. I mean, that's there. I don't know if you can take out these columns. You might be able to. Let's see what happens. Yeah, you can. I, uh, I didn't experiment with that last time. Oh, let's get rid of this bit. There you go. It lets me get rid of some of them, but not all of them. But that's, uh, that's a pretty good floating base. Like, the cannibals can't get over. The puffies can if they jump, but they soon run away. And the mutants won't get out over here anyway, nor will their demons. But it's normally the uh, the glowing puffies, you know. The other ones don't make it across. I think that looks pretty cool. I'm going to finish it off. There you go. Finished that off. Just made a little entrance system up there. Nice little doorway. For you to get up. Obviously, you're not going to be able to jump like that. But you can get like a uh, zip line up here. I left this open just so you could see that you can actually just keep going up and up as high as you basically want it. You don't have to stick to the ground floor. Like I say before, be careful of these. These can be destroyed. Surround them with spikes and traps. But again, cannibals don't come out here. Neither do demons. Let's get their attention. Nope, that's not going to do it. That'll do it. Here we go. Come on. They stop. They don't like it on here. You could build this out in the water if you want, as long as there's enough place to get these in. Even if you want to build it on a lake, a lake that's deep enough to get these underwater, they won't go in it. Uh, and they won't attack it. If, as long as it's deep enough, it should be fine. But there you go. There you have it. A floating cannibal-proof base. Well, they can't attack it. They can't get up there. Okay, be it Calvin and Virginia can't get up there either, but it's completely safe for you. And it works. All right. As soon as I find out what else we can do with these little stacks, I'll let you guys know. But at the moment, I haven't got a clue. 
I've used them for so many different ways. It's just, it's just, there's nothing I can do with them at the moment. So yeah, I'm going to leave it here. Thanks for coming, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see some more, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for coming. Bye.